hello guys today i want to show you a simple method the 2024 method on how you can upgrade your pc to, to windows 11 from windows 10 even though your pc doesn't currently meet windows 11 system requirements according to microsoft your system must support tpm 2.0 and other requirements needed for you to install windows 11 successfully on your pc but what if you don't your system doesn't meet up with these requirements what are you going to do then welcome to this video that is why i'm here today to share with you how you can successfully install windows 11 on your pc even though it doesn't meet up with the requirement needed by microsoft first thing first thing you want to do you want to go over to I want to go over to microsoft.com their website yeah you want to scroll to their website and you want to scroll down to download windows 11 dix image iso for s64 dix now you want to click you want to click the drop down menu you want to select the windows 11 multi edition yes we need multi languages on that when you are done with that you also want to select product language depending on your region or your location you may want to select a language that will suit you for me united states is okay english united states is perfect so you choose english united states and you confirm and once you are done with that you see that you have something like this you see something like this on your desktop or wherever your download folder may be this is Windows 11 2023H2 20, English S64 version 2. So when you see something like this, you want to use your WinRAR or Power ISO to what? Extract the file. Now when you extract the file, you get something like this. Yes, you get something like this. Now, how do we set our desktop or our PC to be able to meet up with the requirements? All right, so let me close this face. Close this. Okay. Good. Now, when you are done extracting the file, you want to locate this a folder called sources. Sources. You want to open sources. And you want to locate this folder called appraisers. Take note, we have one called appraiser here. This is appraiser. We're not using this one, but instead we're making use of appraises. Now you want to open appraises. Depending on what it shows, you want to right click on it and click open with notepad. Some might not show notepad here. You want to click on more apps. Then you will see notepad beneath it. You want to click on notepad. Now this is exactly what you will see on your notepad. What you all you want to do is Control A and delete. You want to highlight everything and delete it. Once you are done deleting it, you want to save. Yes, now save. Next thing is close. You want to close it and bam, bam we we are done. Now let's see if these settings or what we've actually done can help us to install Windows 11 on our PC. Let's go and see. I want to click on setup so you want to click on setup so it's preparing now I want to clean up click on next okay it's loading boom now you see we can successfully install Windows 11 on our PC. It's not, we, don't, we, don't, we no longer see the error message that our PC doesn't meet up with the requirements. Now we meet up with the requirements by doing those few tasks. You want to accept. Now you, want to, you may want to keep files and keep personal files or do nothing. We should delete all the files you have on your PC. So depending on your decision, you want to get right along with it so guys this is how you install windows 11 on your pc even though your pc doesn't meet up with the requirements i hope you find this video interesting i hope you've gotten some knowledge from this video don't forget the steps that we took
in order for us to achieve this. You want to follow that step closely as it will help you to install Windows 11 on your PC.